Britain's Prince Harry is expected in Washington, D.C. the first week of May to receive a humanitarian award to honor his work with veterans. Having worked several royal visits in the past, in this week's Above the Terror Line, I'd like to discuss the security arrangements that go on behind the scenes to ensure His Royal Highness has a safe and secure visit. Protecting the British royals is never an easy job. In years gone by, the British royals were our most threatened protectees, primarily due to threats that surfaced from emotionally disturbed individuals and adoring fans hoping to get close to a member of the royal family. Americans are uniquely interested in the British royal family, so the paparazzi and media surrounding the visit is also a serious consideration in security planning. In the United Kingdom, the royal family is protected by a low-profile team of the Royalty and Protection Branch of the Metropolitan Police, also known as the Met. They provide both physical protection and monitoring of potential threats. When the British royals visit the United States, the State Department Diplomatic Security Service, or DSS, will be responsible for his protection. Unlike the low-profile protection details in the UK, the threat assessment for royal visits to the US will be high due to a range of variables, including the mentally disturbed threat, paparazzi, and other media, stalkers, the upcoming Olympics in London, and the IRA, even though we believe it's unlikely that the IRA would attempt to carry out an attack on US soil. With such a high threat level in place, Prince Harry is likely to receive a higher profile protection detail while in the United States. In addition to U.S. law enforcement efforts to detect these threats, the Met will also pass along any current threat information to the DSS. The FBI Joint Terrorism Task Forces will also be on point looking for adverse intelligence. The Prince's schedule will be shared with the U.S. Secret Service, so no stone is left unturned. Once the Prince has touched down inside the U.S., the DSS will run a full protection detail, including counter-surveillance teams, EOD dogs, and police assistance at all stops. These preparations will be made long before he arrives, with security and logistics worked out, out of sight of the public and the media. DSS will plan for every contingency that would surface and will be vigilant for any new threats that may surface. In addition to the physical protection that will be given to Prince Harry, DSS headquarters will also be working the case, monitoring real-world threats 24 by 7 while the Prince is under their watch. What's the above the tear line aspect of this video? In my past experiences of protecting British royals, emotionally disturbed individuals come out of the woodwork on any visit and there is no shortage of surprises. The DSS will be working in public and quietly behind the scenes to uncover things that most people never see including identifying individuals attempting to get close to His Royal Highness, looking for high-quality counterfeit tickets to VIP events, and other various ruse operations.